Today's question is, what is Israel's role in the end times? In this video, I'll answer that question from a biblical perspective. Then afterwards, as always, I'll share some helpful resources, so stick around to the end. Every time there is a conflict in or around Israel, many see it as a sign of the quickly approaching end times. The problem with this is that we may eventually tire of the conflict in Israel, so much so that we will not recognize when true, prophetically significant events occur. Conflict in Israel is not necessarily a sign of the end times. Conflict in Israel has been a reality whenever Israel has existed as a nation. Whether it was the Egyptians, Amalekites, Midianites, Moabites, Ammonites, Amorites, Philistines, Assyrians, Babylonians, Persians, or Romans, the nation of Israel has always been persecuted by its neighbors. Why is this? According to the Bible, it is because God has a special plan for the nation of Israel, and Satan wants to defeat that plan. Satanically influenced hatred of Israel, and especially Israel's God, is the reason Israel's neighbors have always wanted to see Israel destroyed. Whether it is Sennacherib, king of Assyria, Haman, official of Persia, Hitler, leader of Nazi Germany, or the current president of Iran, attempts to completely destroy Israel will always fail. The persecutors of Israel will come and go, but the persecution will remain until the second coming of Christ. As a result, conflict in Israel is not a reliable indicator of the soon arrival of the end times. However, the Bible does say there will be terrible conflict in Israel during the end times. That is why the time period is known as a tribulation, the great tribulation and the time of Jacob's troubles, in Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 7. Here is what the Bible says about Israel in the end times. There will be a mass return of Jews to the land of Israel, Isaiah chapter 43, verse 6. The Antichrist will make a seven-year covenant of peace with Israel, Daniel chapter 9, verse 27. The temple will be rebuilt in Jerusalem, also Daniel chapter 9, verse 27. The Antichrist will break his covenant with Israel and worldwide persecution of Israel will result. Israel will be invaded, Ezekiel chapters 38 and 39. Israel will finally recognize Jesus as their Messiah, Zechariah chapter 12, verse 10. Israel will be regenerated, restored, and regathered, Romans chapter 11, verse 26. There is much turmoil in Israel today. Israel is persecuted, surrounded by enemies, Syria, Lebanon, Jordan, Saudi Arabia, Iran, Hamas, Islamic Jihad, Hezbollah, etc. But this hatred and persecution of Israel is only a hint of what will happen in the end times. The latest round of persecution began when Israel was reconstituted as a nation in 1948. Many Bible prophecy scholars believe the Six-Day Arab-Israeli War in 1967 was the beginning of the end. Could what is taking place in Israel today indicate that the end is near? Yes. Does it necessarily mean the end is near? No. Jesus himself said it best. Watch out that no one deceives you. You will hear of wars and rumors of wars, but see to it that you are not alarmed. Such things must happen, but the end is still to come. Matthew chapter 24, verses 4 through 6. Want to learn more? Subscribe so you don't miss the next video. Visit gotquestions.org for more great content and check out the details section below this video. There's one book I recommend along with several links to related questions. If you'd like to learn about Bible Munch or if you're interested in bite-sized devotionals, subscribe to Bible Munch on YouTube. It's linked right here. Now remember, got questions? The Bible has answers and we'll help you find them.